As FDR reached the midpoint of his first term, he's going to have to have midterm elections. And the question is, what is he going to do? Mainly, what is he going to do about all the people that are opposing him? You see, there were two types of people that opposed him. Well, those that thought he was doing too much, and those that he thought that they thought were doing he was doing too little. An example of a person who thought he was doing too much was going to be the American Liberty League. Now, basically, the operative word is liberty. I often joke about it, but yes, the New Deal was a challenge to liberty, if it challenged the people's liberty to starve. Nevertheless, the Liberty League was financed by a poor family in Delaware called the DuPonts. Okay, I'm kind of being sarcastic there. You might have heard of them from one time or another. And people like Hoover belonged to it. Hoover wrote a book called The Challenge to Liberty. So there was a critique from the large businesses and the wealthy. Then there's the critique about from those who thought he was doing too little. Not enough for old people, not enough for African Americans, not enough for tenant farmers. I'll give you two examples. There's a California doctor named Francis Townsend who came up with a plan. It said basically the federal government should give everybody above 60 years old $200 a month with the provision that they spend it. Now today $200 would not get you out of noon, but back then that's a pretty good amount of money. This wasn't going to pass, but you get the idea. A second and much more serious threat to FDR politically was through it was a man named Huey Long, another guy who thought that FDR was doing too little. Huey Long, during the, during the Great Depression, was a senator from Illinois, but he was also governor of Illinois at one time. Now, although a Democrat, Long believed that FDR was not doing enough. He, in fact, had a program called the Share Our Wealth Society. And his nickname was the Kingfish because his slogan was, Every Man a King. His program called for every house, every family to have a homestead worth $5,000 and a guaranteed income of $2,500 a year. Now, where is all that money going to come from? Well, he wanted to take that money from those rich rascals and redistribute it. This is radical here. So all of this money was supposed to come through confiscation and redistribution. And he made noises along, this, along these lines. Now, do you think he might have been popular considering how things were? In terms of how bad they were? Of course he was. But in 1935, he's removed from the picture. Mainly because of the fact that Huey Long was assassinated. And uh, there is a conspiracy theory that FDR might have uh, ordered the hit. But we haven't found any evidence for it yet. Now, in the congressional elections of 1934, the Democrats won overwhelmingly, and FDR had a Congress that could go his way. But the question was whether or not he would be able to control Congress, or will Congress be able to control him? Now, to make a really complicated story simple, what FDR did was he basically responded to his critics by doing more. And that'll be the next subject, known as the Second New Deal.